hi children last class we have seen that completely about wool fibers now as as per our initial discussion we have seen there are two types of animal fiber and the second one is silk today we are going to see the second animal fiber that is silk on moving to our topic silk life history of silk moth we can see what is the life history of silk moth so before rearing of uh, silk and all we should know the life history of silk moth so moving on to that portion we can see first a female silk moth is laying eggs normally a female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time so Uh, from that uh, eggs larvae are hatching the and that hatch larvae are known as uh, uh, caterpillar or larvae silk worms or caterpillar we are calling this larvae okay and this caterpillar eat mulberry leaves they are uh, delicious food is mulberry leaves favorite food is mulberry leaves so they eat this mulberry leaves in a uh, day and night enormously grow into a bigger size once the growth is finished completely grown in full size they enter into the next stage which is known as that pupal stage pupa okay and in that pupa stage uh, we are uh, we are we can see the uh, that uh, caterpillar is uh, going to start a weaving a net to hold itself during that uh, pupa stage the caterpillar weaves a net by itself by secreting a protein from the head by swinging the body side to side in the form of figure 8 in the form of figure 8 in the form of figure 8 it will be swinging a head side to side it will be making that outer covering for itself to hang and that covering is known as cocoon okay so inside that cocoon the caterpillar is going to sleep and uh, after the sleep uh, for long days it will be converted that full growth of uh, silk worms into silk moth will be taking place once that uh, uh, complete transformation is over that silk moth will be coming out from the uh, outer covering and that covering is actually known as cocoon we can see that see this is the life history of silk moth during that uh, when we discuss that sil life history of silk moth we can see that female silk moth lays egg female silk moth so this female silk moth lays eggs on the a uh, lower side of the leaves normally it is uh, feeding on that mulberry leaves and also we can see these type of silk worms are in the mulberry trees so mulberry tree leaves below that uh, lower side of the leaves we can see small eggs there they are laying eggs and that uh, eggs are hatching into caterpillar or silk worm caterpillar caterpillar or we will call it as silk worm okay and the silk worm eat that mulberry leaves day and night continuously for few days it will only eat no other work for this uh, uh, silk worm at that time they will eat day and night and grow in enormous size big size okay once the uh, they finish uh, they are feeding that means if they have uh, but the intake of food is over after few days continuously they will be taking the food after that they will stop eating 
okay once the eating is stopped the they will go into the next stage that is known as stage 3 that is pupa pupa okay so during that time what happens is the that caterpillar uh, swings uh, in sidewise position he, its head will be in side to side moving that head side to side it will start producing a protein and that protein will harden on exposure exposure to air when it exposed to air that protein that uh, fine uh, uh, fibers will be produced that protein will become hard there and itself will, a, will weave a net. This is the net uh, basket for itself to hold inside. So, this is known as, this outer coat, uh, covering is known as cocoon. Okay. So, pupa, during this pupa stage, that caterpillar is going into the uh, covering which is known as cocoon. And inside that cocoon, that further development of silk uh, worm is taking place to silk moth. And uh, from that, silk moth will be uh, once again generating, uh, uh, converted into silk moth there. And this cycle is the life cycle of silk moth. Again, that uh, if it is a female silk moth, it will lay egg. Uh, more than hundreds of eggs are laying there at a time. And again laying eggs there after eggs uh, it is hatching to caterpillar then again going to the pupa stage and then again to female silk moth like so the life cycle is repeated the this is the life history of silk moth. Okay clear now children you have to uh, this is the stage one first figure is this one and this is the second figure. And this is the third figure and this is the fourth figure. So, one by one you have to draw it and connect it as a cycle. So, that this will be repeated there in the life of silk moth. Okay. When you are writing the notes there, uh, there uh, you will get uh, in, in that printed notes, uh, in that notes you will, it will be mentioned the uh, refer figure this one in video this video like so so there you have to draw this figure okay so this is the life history of silk moth and now we can see have you heard the term sericulture right ah yes that term is meant for rearing the silk moth for obtaining the silk fibers for obtaining silk fibers, we are rearing the silk moth and that process is that is known as sericulture. Once again, sericulture is the rearing of silk worms for getting that silk fibers that is known as sericulture. Okay, and uh, now this uh, uh, commonly seen silk moth is mulberry silk moth. Have you heard about different varieties of silk there? Yes, I know that you may be telling that uh, Kanjeevaram silk, uh, isn't it? But it is not the different varieties of silk. It is, uh, the name is uh, given from the place where it is weaving. So, that is not the different types of uh, silk. We can see, we, we can see the different types of, different types of silk. Such as, have you heard about tassel silk? Yes. Different types of silk. Have you heard about tassel silk? Yes, I know that you might have heard it. So, tassel silk is a tassel silk is a type of silk. And uh, another silk is Muga silk, not Munga. It is Muga silk. Okay, this is a mistake you are commonly making. And the previous uh, students, I observed that while writing Muga silk, you might have written the Munga. It's not Munga. It is Muga. And uh, Airy silk is there. That is another type of silk. And Mulberry silk is there. Mulberry silk. Mulberry silk 
and then coarser silk is the these are the different varieties of silk fibers we are getting from the silk worm okay so different types of silks are the tussar silk muga silk airy silk mulberry silk and coarser silk so today we have seen uh, what is the life history of silk moth before studying the rearing we should know what is the life history of silk moth so uh, we have seen that there are three uh, four stages through which that silk moth is passing through to make it a silk moth during that it produces the silk fibers isn't it so first stage silk moth lays eggs and uh, that eggs are hatches uh, uh, to convert into caterpillar or silk worm and that silk worm weaves a net to hold itself in the third stage that is pupa stage and that uh, net covering is known as cocoon and once if the growth is over it will come out that moth will come out from that cocoon and actually this cocoon is actually the silk fibers we are getting the fibers from that cocoon and we have seen that sericulture also it is the rearing of silk worms were getting silk uh, that is known as sericulture there are different uh, uh, cultures are there such as pisci culture uh, mori culture horticulture agriculture all these are the you can find out uh, uh, with which each one is related now i think this much is clear to you Thank you, Jilwen.